All right, so do you guys want to see how I separated all of these small dubias from all these males and females? Let me show you guys how it's done. All right, guys. So here is the tub that we are going to be sorting out. And as you can see, here we have some small dubias that uh, need to be sorted, separated out. So, and there's a lot of them. So I want to go ahead and, go ahead and uh, share with you guys how I do this. And um, that way, if you guys have a tub you guys need to sort out, you guys can kind of get an idea of how I do it and you guys can uh, do it do it how you guys like. All right, so what you, let me go ahead and show you guys what you're gonna need. All right, so you're gonna need some buckets with some holes drilled in them, different size holes, so that way the dubious can sort out and you will have um, a much easier time being able to size your dubias like that. So you're gonna need some buckets. Let me know if you guys wanna know what sizes I use. And also you're gonna need another tub so that way you can put some dubias in here while you're being able to uh, put some in here and then put them out. So you're gonna need a, an extra tub that way it's, it'll, it'll be easier that way. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the first um, egg crate. Let me put these in order first and then I'll show you guys how I all do right, it. All right, so they are all in order now. Um, so there's going to be the biggest doobies on the top and then the smalls will be all the way on the bottom. All right. So first thing, grab your, your egg flat here, and then you're going to just put it in this way. Make sure it's all, all the way down. And then just, just, you're going to have to give it some taps. So that way the doobies fall out, especially the small ones. Those guys tend to hang on. Uh, and, and you can see the majority of them are already out. So just a few taps and uh, just review. You see we got, we still have one right over here. So we got to give it a couple more. And uh, just making sure that you're not hitting any, killing any dubias in this process. That's what you want to be aware of. So that way you're not, you're not killing your product. There's a couple more there, so. Yeah, with those ones you just kind of want to go all the way to the bottom and then hit the hit the bottom like that. Or you can just go like this. But uh yeah, so that's pretty much how you're going to do it for every single one of your egg flats. Um like I said, the most important part is being able to have different sizes that way you can um have your dubious sorted out by the, they'll they'll sort themselves. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, set up my camera so you guys can see a time lapse of how I do this. And then I'm gonna show you guys the, the final product at the also, end. Also guys, be sure to wear a face mask. That way you're not breathing in any of the dust. Make sure you guys get yourself a nice high quality one um, because you don't wanna breathe in any of the, of the dust that come and there will be dust. All right, guys, so take a look. We are on our last one right here, but there is still a lot of small dubious on in the frass and everything. So um, this part is the most complicated because you, you want to be able to separate them, but they're, since they're small, small, they kind of tend to hide in, in the frass. So um, I'm going to explain to you guys how I do it. just want to show you guys the dubious that uh, these females that are... Um, they're temporarily in there. I still have to count them out and then put them back into the breeding tub, but I have to count them out first. Um, that way I know how many have died, how many have, um, and how many are still, still here alive. So that way I can have an accurate, um, female to male ratio. And by the way, um, I like doing one male, uh, for every three females. So I got to count them all out and then, uh, put them back in here, but... First, let's finish uh, sorting them out. You guys, um, let me show you guys how the smalls are looking right now. And um, by the way, all these are available. So let me know if you need some small dubious. I can give you some pricing. 
You can email me or send me a DM on Instagram. Yeah, so there's there's a lot of them. Um, so another tip I'm gonna give you guys right now is, so in order to filter out the dubias from the frass, um, first of all, you need to have appropriate size holes. That way you can filter out the the little, um, like this stuff here. And then that way you can keep the dubias, which is what you want. So first is our, the ones that you already have and they're 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 good dump them into another tub that way um you don't have so much of a hard time putting all this frass on top of the ones that are have already been sorted out so put these in there and then once both of these um both of the the ones having all the small videos then you can dump all this frass and it can start fill, you know sorting out so let me go ahead and show you guys how I do that. Alright guys, so now I'm going to be putting all these into here. And then all some of the dust and stuff will be on the bottom. So that's the frass right there. I have a pretty cool system. So, but let me show you guys. All right, guys. And this is what we got out of that tub there. So, pretty good amount of small doobies. And all of these are available. So let me know if you need some. Like I said, you can email me, foodchainfeeders at gmail.com, or you can send me a DM on Instagram. It's foodchainfeeders on there as well. But yeah, guys, look at all this. Some really, really good looking small doobies. That's a lot. Look at all that. Boom. All right, guys. So remember, we still have some more dubias hidden in all these frass over here. So we have to separate those. Um, and how we're going to do that is by putting all this stuff in here as well. But hopefully I can do this one handed. Here I go. Yeah, never mind. Hold up. So you can already see. They're already moving on to the second one. And then I just start, pretty much I just move them off for all three of these. And then um, I'll show you guys how it looks all at right, the end. So quick update. Now what I'm doing, meanwhile, uh, these are still sorting out is I am putting back the egg flats that I initially put in this tub uh, with all the males and females. I'm, I'm uh, putting the egg flats, but still um, only the egg flats. Uh, no, there's no females or males in here yet. All of the males and females are in here still. Remember, I still have to count all of them out and then I can start putting them back. That way I can accurately um, have a male to female ratio. So, yeah, I'll give you guys an update right now. All right, so I'm on my last egg flat removing it. And of course, this is where all the males and females are. So 
that's a lot. That's a lot of females. But uh, yeah, I have to remove all of them now. So just, I'll start shaking it. Oh crap, it's really heavy. All right, let me let me uh, put the camera down. All right, and this is all of them that were in that tub. Uh, when I initially started this this uh, breeding tub, I put um, 650 uh, females, and uh, I can't remember how many males I put in there. I have it written down somewhere, but uh, I don't know where the tag is at. But yeah, so now I have to count all these out, and uh, then I'll start putting them back into the breeding tub so they can start breeding and producing more doobie roaches. So yeah, give them some good quality roach chow, a good hydration source, and that's what you want to get right there. I'll give you guys an update right now on how many all this is right here. guys so these are the last uh females that i got from the from this right here all of these now are just males i still have to count those out but for the females this is what i got i ended up getting 560 females and uh, these are the 60 right here so let me go ahead and put these back in there and now it's time to uh count out the males remember i do a one to three ratio so I'm gonna do it on the calculator and then I'm gonna start counting these. All right guys, so I just counted the males uh, that I had inside the tub and there was a um, hundred males. So um, I still need to add 87 more males, but let's just go ahead and uh, put these in here for now. Since I do a one to three ratio, um, for these 560 females, I need to have 187 males in there. So let me go to my other tub, my grill tub that have males and females in there and put some more, uh, put 87 more males in here. Let me All go right, grab guys. So to finish it off, here are the 87, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, 87 that I uh, have to put in here. So that already, there it is, guys. So that's the doobie roach tub all back to normal now so it's going to pretty much start producing dubias right away some of the females might be pregnant already and then i'll come back in a month or two and then sort it all over again and uh i still have a lot more tubs to do so hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and uh yep so i just put in some fresh water crystals here now i just have to uh, add a little bit of our, our roach chow that we do have available right now the best stuff for your roaches That should be good for now. Come back in a day or two and they, they will eat all of this. And I'll come back and refill it.